Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Christmas. Merry holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are back looking at another Barago F1 diecast. If you guys missed the last review, it was for the 2022 Max Verstappen car. Overall, it is very, very good. The only big issue I thought was that the suspension is painted the same color as the livery, which is kind of weird, but it's not that big of a deal. But of course, you can check that video out in its entirety up in the corner here. I'm very excited because today, for the first time ever, basically, since I've started making these videos, we have got, we have got a new team to the Barago lineup in Alfa Romeo. In all my years of reviewing these cars, Barago have not yet introduced a new team. It's always been Ferrari, Red Bull, and sometimes Mercedes. But this year, we've got Alfa Romeo, which is pretty cool. If you guys have been watching for a long time, you know that I was always pretty fond of this Alfa Romeo Sauber uh, F1 team. Of course, you can go way, way back to 2018. I looked at this car right here, the Spark Marcus Erickson Alfa Romeo Sauber. Uh, this is back when they still wore the Sauber name uh, in their entry. Now it's just called Alfa Romeo. It's still operated by Sauber Technologies, but that's not really uh, important right now. But, but yeah, I was very, very fond of this team for a while. This is uh, the Marcus Erickson one right here. And it has been since that Marcus Erickson diecast that I got a car for this team. I haven't gotten any of the Alfa Romeos since. So it is very, very cool that we have these ones here today. Any more questions, please ask them in the comments and I will address them in a future video. Let's start off, however, with the second driver for Alfa Romeo Sauber this year, and that is Joe Guan Yu. Yes, Zhou Guan Yu. Now, before we open this up, quick quiz for you guys. What are two things that people do and they never stop talking about them if they do them? Give you a couple seconds. Okay, so one is they're vegan. They'll never stop telling you that they're vegan. Two is if they have a podcast. They'll never shut up about their podcast if they have one. So I have a podcast, guys. I've talked about it a little bit on this channel. I've showed the trailers. The only reason I'm mentioning that right now is that there is a video, you can go and watch it right now, where we ranked our favorite drivers for the season. We ranked all the drivers. And I actually put Zhou Guan Yu 19th, my 19th favorite driver, or my second last least favorite driver. I think that's, yeah, that, uh, I think that is right. I don't know if that's entirely true, really. Uh, we did this in October, so I, I don't really think it's fair to put Joe Guan Yu 19th. He had a pretty solid rookie season, I think. I don't think he crashed a lot. I'm sure there was at least one or two crashes, but overall, um, he had a, a lot better of a rookie season than some people's you know, third season. Some some people who've been in F1 for a lot longer had a lot worse seasons than Joe Guan Yu. So I don't think he's my 19th favorite. But the only reason I'm mentioning that is that I probably never would have gotten a Joe Guan Yu diecast if Barago didn't release it. So I think it's pretty cool that they're doing this. And also I've been looking at this the whole time that I've been saying this, but check out this box art. The line here is like perfectly in line with the diecast in the back of the box. And same thing here. Like it's it's like perfect with it's got the headrest and the halo. So hats off to the box designers on this one. I don't know. This one kind of does it too. Like it's kind of in line with the with the car itself. So that's this is a fantastic looking box. All right. It's been like 40 minutes. Let me get into this. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got ourselves a pretty damn good car right here. The Alfa Romeo C42 by Barago. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the paint, it's got the glossy red. I don't think I've ever seen even a Barago Mercedes pull it off quite like how 
this car is doing it right here. I don't even know if you can see that, but I noticed this even before it was out of the box. The red on this Alfa Romeo looks really, really good. So we'll take a closer look at it right here and just let you take a look at all the detail. Um, the suspension is black. It's not painted the same color. It's also got the carbon fiber pattern on it. I don't even, I was kind of so distracted by the fact the suspension on the Red Bull was blue. I didn't even mention it didn't have any carbon fiber pattern on it. Um, the black plastic does look a little bit weird. I'll talk about that more in a second, but let's take a look at the parts that are really cool about this car. This is not a bad livery. Uh, even though the old Alfa Romeo Sauber that I showed earlier, that livery is super, super simple. I always sort of liked it for how simple it was. So I'm a pretty big fan of the Alfa Romeo livery. The red is super nice. Um, it's better than Ferrari red. I think I just heard the Tifosi knock on my door. So I might get murdered after this video, um, but... <laughs> It wouldn't be one of my videos, one of my productions, if I didn't shit on Ferrari just a little bit. But yeah, it, this, I mean, this looks really good. Um, if you're wondering, um, well, let's, I'll, I'll start this off by showing off the floor. So here's the floor for the Alfa Romeo. And here is the floor for the Red Bull. They actually are different. They used different pieces for these cars. I think the budget... I think the F1 budget for Barago has gone up a little bit, definitely since I started reviewing these. I mean, I do have a couple Barago cars that used the same mold in different years. The 2015 and 2016 Red Bull are on the same mold, despite the fact they're different cars. This year, we've got five different teams they're making, and they all look, at least so far, the two I've looked at look really good. So I'm hoping that the budget has gone up um, on Barago for Barago F1 cars this year. It at least looks that way. But this car looks so good. There is a little bit of a, it doesn't look terrible, but the white I think is oversprayed a little bit here. You can kind of see that. Um, so it doesn't look fantastic. That's kind of a Barago hallmark. It's been a little bit since I've seen it, but it is something that does happen. Uh, and the Alfa Romeo logo I think is off. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to cover the white outline and it just doesn't. So that was clearly stamped on later. We're going to take a look at the wheels now. Hard tires um, on this car. I've only got, I think, two Baragos that aren't on yellow tires. Of course, they used to be the soft and now they're, wait, no. They, they yes, they, they used to be the soft and now they're the medium. Uh, and this is the hard tire now. Um, I think one of the Red Bulls has super soft tires. Um, but it's also got a designed wheel cover. The Red Bull did not have this really, but that looks really cool. And it looks nice when you spin it. That's dope. Um, also, one thing that I did not mention in the previous video is that they've actually started printing the tires on both sides for at least the front wheel. You can see the Pirelli logos uh, on the front of the tire or on the other side of the tire here. That is not something they've ever done before. It's blank on these si on the other side. Um, every other Barago car I've reviewed besides the ones for this year. I did mention the black plastic. I think in order to achieve the finish, uh, the sparkling finish, they have had to spray something or paint something on the car and they've got it on the plastic too. And so it kind of makes these black plastic areas look a little bit cheap. The front wing, it, it looks greasy, you know? I think it looks greasy, the plastic. It doesn't feel anything. It doesn't like leave a residue, but there's some sort of glossy finish that they put on this car uh, in order to make it shine, but it doesn't look very good on the plastic. And I think it looks especially bad on the rear wing. I think that'll be what I take away from this car as not being particularly good is the rear wing. Um, where there's no carbon fiber detail, it looks, it looks not great. I don't think it's as bad as the wrong colored suspension, but that's probably going to be the weakest link of this car is the rear wing, but it is a different mold. They did not reuse pieces. Oh wow. And that's very, very obviously a sticker. And this sticker right here is not even really put on properly. Uh, and the painting doesn't look too good underneath the rear wing here, especially with this green. Um, okay, so yeah, the rear wing does not look fantastic, but overall, 
I mean, this car looks really good. This is probably the best Spirago that I've seen so far. Obviously, I, I gotta give myself some more time to think about it. I really love the vents here that they've got on this car. I don't know if that's unique to Alfa Romeo, but that is really cool. By the way, this is the Bahrain spec car. It actually specifically says that on the box, um, that it's from the Bahrain Grand Prix, which I don't think is something the Barago cars usually say. So that is pretty cool. And do not let your eyes deceive you because this actually is a different car. We've moved on to the Valtteri Bottas Alfa Romeo C42. Valtteri Bottas, my man. I put Joe Guan Yu 19th on my favorite driver list, but this was number one. Valtteri Bottas this season has been my favorite driver because, uh, you know, I just wanted to see him do well after his poor time at Mercedes. I, I think I've said this already. I kind of shit on him when he was with Mercedes, I think last year in the review of that car. Um, but I actually do think he's a very good driver and he had such an amazing start to the season uh, I think Alfa Romeo, I don't know what happened, but they had a lot of reliability issues midway through the season uh, and to the end. So it, it hurt him. It hurt him a lot, I think. So I'm hoping that next year he's going to come back stronger because, of course, this team is in the beginning of its transition to Audi. Um, in 2024, I think the Alfa Romeo name will be gone. It'll be back to Sauber. And then by 2026, it will be Audi. So hopefully, you know, these two drivers, they're pretty good. So maybe they've got themselves a front row seat, a golden ticket back to the front of the field for Valtteri Bottas and to the front of the field for Zhou Guan Yu because this team could be going up, could be big in a couple years. Um, let's go back to the Valtteri Bottas. It's very much the same. Uh, the painting is a little bit better on the white and the uh, Alfa Romeo logo lines up with the white border underneath it. And the painting on the rear wing looks a little bit better. It's still not perfect, but I think it's up. I think it's a little bit better than the Zhou Guan Yu. So the painting on this car is a lot better. I don't know if they've put more towards the Valtteri Bottas than the Zhou Guan Yu. I can't imagine why because I think Barago make their cars in Hong Kong or somewhere, or made in China. Um, I knew it was around that area. Um, so I feel like, oh, hey. Never made an appearance in my video. Actually, that's not true. I'm busy though, I'm busy. So yeah, this, um, but I was thinking that it would be pretty, a Zhou Guan Yu diecast would be pretty popular um, because, you know, around China and everything. So, so it's weird if they've put more effort into the Valtteri Bottas, but I don't know. I think it's probably just a production thing. Um, here's a better look at the kind of detail around the floor area and where the barge boards used to be. I mean, overall, this car looks really good. Um, it looks fantastic. It's probably the best Brago. They've done, a, they've done a great job, I think, with the finish on this car. Uh, I think when it's painted glossy, uh, it doesn't look very good usually, especially in the front wing area. But this is actually like a matte plastic, maybe even a matte paint on the front wing that's been finished off to look glossy. So it just really, really shines nicely in the light. So this one looks fantastic. This is a great addition. Let's give it a comparison to the Max Verstappen. Um, overall, I think I think the Alfa Romeo is gonna win out more votes compared to the Red Bull. I think it's just a better looking die cast um, at the moment. We'll see what I think about it in the future. And comparing these to Spark again, uh, or the even Mini Champs, um, they are die cast in some of the front bits but the plastic, like the cover to the monocoque, the halo, the front wing, rear wing, those are all made of plastic. There's also, it's also missing a little bit of detail compared to the Spark diecast. I'll do a better comparison video sometime in the future where I look at, what are you doing? I think, um, I think the right now the Alfa Romeo is probably the best one. Um, but the Red Bull is still pretty good too. So I definitely recommend for the price, for your shelf. Bro, what are you doing over there? For the price, for the 
shelf for the F1 fans who don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money for a decently good car. These are great, and I'm so glad that Barago has released more cars this year. There's still the McLarens. I think they're out now. Uh, I don't have them yet, obviously. The Ferraris are out, uh, and the Mercedes is coming soon. So I'm really looking forward to the McLarens and the Mercedes, and I will look at the Ferrari because I have to. It's actually a pretty good-looking Ferrari, um, but yeah, more on that later. I don't think I have anything else to say, really, so... Thank you guys for watching this video. What do you think of the Barago Alfa Romeos? Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hold on, hold on, hold on everybody. Can't end the video yet because I can't, I can't believe I forgot something. I forgot to mention something so unimportant. But I made a whole video about it, so now I've got to mention it in every video I make about these Barago cars. I, I cannot believe I didn't mention this, but yes, Zhou Guan Yu's T-Cam is black. It should be yellow. The Valtteri Bottas is black. That is correct. So even though I mentioned in this video that I thought the budget was going up for Barago, the more things change the more things stay the same. Now the video's over. Bye.